Salon, Salon, sisters. First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory and praises to the Most High God of Israel. Call her Yahweh Bashem Um, I just wanted to be vulnerable with y'all. I want to be vulnerable with y'all. And Lord willing, this helps, sisters, because I definitely recognize that a lot of us are in this season of or have been in a season of um, financial hardship in these last days. You know, the economy is horrible. Inflation is very real. You know, things keep going up and, you know, jobs aren't increasing the, the pay. <laughs> They're not increasing the pay. So, you know, that's only, you know, it's only inevitable for times to get hard, for bills to be late so on and so forth so i wanted to give a testimony praise report of um what's been going on so no one's edifying no one gives y'all faith and this has definitely built up my faith and the most i put us through these certain types of um hardships Whether it's financial, physical hardship, you know, sickness or spiritual, you know, dealing with demon for a certain amount of time. The Most High tests us and is ultimately trying us. Like, find gold. Get a preset real quick. So, I write two. I'm going to go one through five. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. And make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him, and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. And we, we sisters pull this all the time, but these couple scriptures right here and a couple of other gems too within the scriptures these are things that we need to be meditating on when we're going through it like these are the things that need to immediately pop into our mind when we have those negative thoughts and we think dang how am i gonna get this paid dang they talking about taking this away dang you know it's been so and so amount of time i still ain't got a job or whatever it is Dang, it's been this amount of time. I'm still dealing with this demon. I'm still falling short. Whatever it is. We got to cleave unto the most high. And depart not away from him. These are the times we need to be sticking close. We need to be close to glue. Stuck like glue to the most high. So we can be increased at our last end. So he can deliver us from these spirits. Deliver us from, you know, lack of faith. And, and deliver us from this wicked, wicked captivity. Captivity. And we just got to keep enduring, y'all. We got to keep enduring. We, you know, we count the costs, you know, in this faith. We know that we're going to be tried because gold is tried in the fire. And the Most High sees us as gold. How beautiful is that? He compares us to gold. Expensive. Sis, you are expensive in the spirit, man. You know, you're you're fine. You fine a hot commodity. So we gotta be trying the fire so you can become even more perfect. So we gotta go through that furnace of adversity. Um the most I never promised that this one would be easy, but he did promise that, you know, if we if we don't faint, we will reap the benefits, man. We will reap the benefits and if we continue to trust in him. He will fight for us. That's Exodus 14 to 14. So we hold our peace. The Most High will fight for us. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. Plain. That's plain right there. But I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to get right into it. Now, mind you. You might have a testimony and still be going through it. And there's nothing wrong with that. I had written this out a while ago. 
a while ago but i was like dang you know i'm still kind of going through it maybe i should wait to post this testimony but i'm like no this can help somebody we can help each other you don't want to defer helping each other when we can just because we're still going through it but we can still tell each other the little victories you know the praise reports because these are things that lift sister spirits up through the power spirit how about me out shine showing the most high showing his mighty 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 works and power and miracles through sisters through brothers and sisters testimonies so i'm gonna get well i'm gonna just i'm gonna just say i'm gonna say so um Y'all may not may or may not know. I am a stay at home mom. Um I don't work currently. So my husband, he's the one who is the breadwinner. I'll praise the most high for him. So after um after a while this his job was chirping, so he left them. And we went probably about two months, two months just looking for a job. And then, you know, during that time, you know, we're constantly putting applications, putting applications, putting applications. You can put in a million applications. You know, the, the, the most I put on their spirit to say no is no. But that doesn't mean that we lack faith. We got to continue to just trust in the most high as hard as it is because you're like, dang, these bills keep coming. They just keep coming. And these jobs keep saying, no, I don't know why I'm qualified. I, you know, whatever the case is. But the most high eventually said yes. Many jobs said no. Many jobs said no. Until the most high said yes. Call y'all about me. I was shy. So we must keep the faith through it all. And during this time, I mean, funds is just tight. Tight. When I say tight, tight. But we never went hungry. All praise the most high. We still had a roof over our head. You know. You need. And. The most high always made a way. Always made a way. We got to focus on things that we do have. Because Satan, he'll have us thinking, dang, everything is going wrong, bruh. Like, this is just so much. Like, this is heavy. You know, we got children involved. You know, a household involved. Whatever the case is. Stuff gets heavy. And Satan will really have you thinking some deep thoughts. And you might be thinking... Dang, how can I get some money quick? You thinking to get rich quick schemes and all types of stuff. But really, we just got to trust in the Lord and be patient. You know, you do what you can to, you know, make, make a, you know, make some shake. You know, definitely put in the applications, you know, seek out different resources. But we're not putting our faith into that. Putting our faith into the most high. Yeah, how about you shy? And like I said again, we never went hungry. All praise the most high. And multiple people had either made us dinner one night or a couple nights, you know, bought us something out to eat, or you know, there was I think one or two times that Somebody have um filled up our refrigerator with groceries. Pantry full of grocery groceries. And it's like all praises to the most high. That's only the Lord working through the other people. Only the most high working through other people. And um that was two different people who bought us groceries. Now I'm thinking about it. We had got a flat tire in the midst of it all. So you can imagine. No job. The funds is tight. Bills keep coming. Now you got a flat tire. Pretty frustrating stuff. But guess what the most high did? Put on a brother's spirit to pay for it. 
All praise to the most high. All praise to the most high. And through it all, you know, we're still congregating, still able to, you know, go out of town and congregate with different brothers and sisters. You know, people, two different people gave us money for gas to get around, get where we needed to be. So we always had a our transportation on praise most high to get from point a to b get to everywhere we needed to be that the most high saw fit for us to be on praise most high and um we're able to make extra money on the side doing doordash and again yes bills were late but the most High made a way you know whether it was just gradually being able to pay one bill here one bill there you know that stuff it's better than nothing. It's still the most high showing his mercy. And I remember even one day we woke up on Sabbath day. And my head was looking at something on my phone. I forget. And he was like, somebody just cashed at you. I'm like, what? No, they didn't. Like, <laughs> I wasn't expecting, you know, nothing. So, my head was like, yeah, check it. And I was like, I was confounded. <laughs> I was confounded. I was like, what? The most I put it on somebody's spirit. And, you know, I pray. I pray. I pray for them. Because it really came through. And I just pray that the most high has mercy on them. And I pray that the most high blesses their household 20 fold. Lord willing. We got a cash out for $700. 700, 700. Not $7. Not $70. dollars And that just. That just. That's just only the most high. And y'all can imagine the feeling. Seeing that like. It ain't near brought me to tears. Like, this is the type of, first of all, this is the type of love and, this is the type of love and blessings that we should aspire to be to people. No, everything is not about money, but we know that captivity is hard. We know that alms do deliver from death, and we know that. You know, it's it's hell. It's hell living here in this wicked captivity. Everything is freaking expensive. You know, if everybody in the household ain't working, then, you know, you might be struggling unless somebody has a good job. I mean, even if you do have a good job, you might have a million bills, so it don't even feel like you do. And it's just, you know, a lot. So I really do just all praise most high for that household for just... All praise the most high. All praise the most high for putting on their spirit to help us out in that big way. And, um, come on. The most high can do anything. And that's how the most high work. The most high work like that. He, he works miracles. He works miracles. Okay. And let me get. Jeremiah chapter 37. I gotta get the classic. Because there's nothing too hard for the Most High. And I really pray that this is uh, uplifting for sisters. Oh, wait a minute now. I not mean to go there. Ah, Lord, God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretched out arm. And there is nothing too hard for thee. There's nothing too hard for the most high. The most high can pay any car note. Any car insurance. He control. Let me get that. Oh 
So like, yeah. I don't mind how brain fart. But the Lord controls everything. Everything is for a reason. The most I put in a certain people's spirit to help in certain situations. He puts on certain people's spirit to put you through it, to try you. But the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers of water. He turneth it whithersoever he will. The most high controls the rivers. He controls if they run north, if they go south, if they go east, if they go west. He also controls the king's heart. He controls whoever, you know, is um over your whoever your landlord is whoever um is over your car note payments whoever is you know handling your stuff at the bank whoever is um whatever he controls these heathens he controls everything he's the almighty god there's nothing that's off limits to the most high there's nothing to, there's nothing off limits and this is what we got to remember in the times of adversity. And, um. No, let me not. I'm going to get the book of Job. The book of Job. And these things, you know, it's not easy things to go through. But that's why we got to lean on the most high. And the better mindset that we have through it the better the situation will be because when you're putting all this energy into stressing out you sad you moping around you changing your countenance you just uh why me this that you really just suck any towards any any type of faith that you might have had you just suck it out of it you just it's just you're killing it you're ruining it you're ruining the test. You're ruining the the lesson in it all, the beauty in it. Just like, <laughs> just like J. Cole said, there's beauty, there's beauty in the struggle. You know, J. Cole wig it, but, you know, chew the meat, spit out the bones. It's beauty in the struggle. It's beauty in being put in that low estate and then being brought up. You know, it's nothing for the most high to make rich or poor man. Let me get that. I'm going to come back to Job 8. Okay. Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 11 and 21. Marvel not at the works of sinners, but trust in the Lord and abide in thy labor. For it is an easy thing in the sight of the Lord on the sudden to make a poor man rich. The blessing of the Lord is in the reward of the godly. And suddenly he maketh his blessing flourish. Suddenly he maketh his blessing flourish. So we know that we're keeping these laws, such commandments. We're doing everything we can to just make it. In this truth and do right by the most high Yah Bashmi Al Shai. You know, we're abiding in our labors. It's an easy thing. It's an easy thing for the most high to be like, okay. I see, you know, she's she's strong. She's strong in her faith. She's doing what she's supposed to do. She hasn't fainted. She hasn't stopped reading or believing in me. Okay. I'ma make sure that this gets paid. I'm gonna make sure that she's taken care of. Her taken care of um make sure that i put it on this person's spirit to help her out with this with that whatever the case is it's an easy thing in the sight of the lord and that, that's the reward if we're godly we'll receive that blessing of the lord most high willing he says suddenly he maketh his blessing flourish that's why we got to keep the faith because we never know when the most high is going to grant us that blessing most high willing and he's going to make it flourish. Blossom. More willing with an abundance of blessings. Call y'all about Shimei I'm going to go ahead and go back to Job. Chapter 8. Verse 8. Chapter 8. Verse 8. 
going to start at verse 20. And it reads, Behold, the Most High will not cast away a perfect man, neither will he help the evildoers, till he fill thy mouth with laughing and thy lips with rejoicing. So the Most High is not going to cast away a perfect man. And how do we become perfect? By keeping the law of such commandments, by having faith in how about Shemir was shy. By not turning to evil works. The most I won't cast us away. The most I has never forsaken the righteous. And we know this. We know this. We know this, so we gotta get it. Psalms 37 and 25, I have been young and now I'm old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. You don't have to beg bread. If you keep doing all such commandments, you will not be forsaken. If you're doing what you're supposed to do, it is true. It's lucky. Um, but come just going back to what I was saying. Um, the most high, he, he just, it's all a test. It's all a test. And the most high, he's so merciful. He's never forsaken us, not once. Unless we were just moving in an evil, wicked spirit. And even then, you still in this truth. You still know who you are. You still got knowledge of sound doctrine, most high willing. So many things to be grateful for. And the Most High will have you laughing at the end. Being like, dang. You know, I was overthinking for nothing. Now everything is all figured out. All settled out. You know, I'm rejoicing. All praise the Most High. You know, he delivered me from that situation. You know, but sometimes you got to pray. Just like one of my favorite gospel songs, Praise Him in Advance by Marvin Sapp. Y'all should listen to it if you haven't heard it. We got to praise the most high in advance. Something we can be adding to our prayers is the water Yahweh Shemuel Shai for what you have done in my life, what you're doing in my life, and what you will do in my life. Praising Him in advance. Showing the most high that you're grateful for the things that you do have. Instead of always focusing, Lord, can you please do this? Which is nothing wrong with, you know, making your supplication unto the Lord. You know, letting the Lord know, like, hey, you know, casting your burdens unto the Lord. But we also want to make sure that we're still praising him in the midst of adversity. I'm going to get Luke chapter 22, verse 28. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. And this is Jehovah Shai speaking. Temptation isn't always, you know, sex or tempted to break the commandments like the dietary law or something. In times of financial hardship, you can be tempted to lose faith. You know, like I said earlier, make haste to make a quick book or tempted to stress or to fret and be out the spirit we got to stay close to Yahweh Shai. we got to stay close to him we got to be able to continue with Yahweh Shai in our temptations and we don't want to be like Job's wife because Job we know Job went through it Job went through it boy Job went through it and we don't want to be like his wife we going through it or have nobody around us either that's gonna be just killing the mood killing the faith test then said his wife unto him dost thou still retain thine integrity curse god and die 
But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of God, and shall we not receive evil? And all this did not Job sin with his lips. So yes, we receive good with, by the Most High. You know, we receive, you know, that brand new car, brand new job, you know, this, whatever. Shall we not receive evil? Shall we not receive, you know, our phone being turned off and, you know, maybe a couple payments behind with your car note or your rent or whatever the case is? Shall we not receive these things? Come on now. The Lord is about to just balance. The Lord is about to just balance. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord. But a just weight is his delight. It delights the most high to have a just balance. For you to be tried. For your faith to be tried. And for your faith to be. You know just. Where it's at. Stagnant for a little while. And you know. Something else might begin. Tried. Maybe your patience. Maybe your temperance. Whatever. But a just weight is the most high's delight. And. A lot of people say, you know, the devil's busy whenever all hell is breaking loose in your life. And it's one thing after another. I mean, it's just one thing after another. You Boom, this happened. Then something else happened. Then something else happened. And you be like, dang, I can't catch a break. And they say, another thing people say, um, what do they say? When it rains, it pours. <laughs> But really, the Most High is busy. He's busy working on our faith. He's working on our blessing. That's why things just keep going so-called wrong, quote-unquote. Because the Most High is really working on us and in us. But we just got to stand in the paint. We got to stand in the paint, man. First Samuel, chapter 2 and verse 7. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. The Most High does all these things. Just balance, just like we were saying. And, uh, we get Tobit. Tobit chapter 13 and verse 2. For he doth scourge and have mercy. He leadeth down to hell and bringeth up again. Neither is there any that can avoid his hand. So we can't avoid the Most High's hand. The Most High, if he's really dealing with us, we're going to be going through some stuff. So that's what we got to be focusing on. We got to be like, oh, praise the Most High. You know, the Lord is actually dealing with me. All oh, praise the Most High, he's scourging me. All oh, praise the Most High, he's having mercy on me still. You know, he might bring us all the way low. We might hit rock bottom. We might lose everything. But the most high going to bring us up again. These are the things that we got to trust and believe and meditate on. And I'm going to get started right. 18 and 13. The mercy of man is toward his neighbor. But the mercy of the Lord is upon all flesh. He reproveth and nurtureth and teacheth. And bring it again as a shepherd his flock. Plain. Plain. So the mercy upon the, the mercy of the Lord is upon all of us. It's upon Israel and he's gonna reprove us. He loves us. He sees us as his children. So he's gonna reprove us. He wants us to be better. Just like we reprove our children, nurture our children, teach us our children. And guide them where they're supposed to go. Just like a shepherd, his flock. How much so are the Lord, the Heavenly Father, Abba It's only right. We gotta understand our role in this thing. And understand what the Most High is doing in these seasons. Mm, Psalms chapter 136. I'm going to get verse 23. Who remembered us in our lowest state 
for his mercy endureth forever. All in all, through the hard times, the Most High's mercy still endures forever and ever. If you still got your mind to still keep the commandments, you still got in your mind that, you know, the Most High has never forsaken the righteous and that, you know, you still breathe and you still have your health, you still have, you know, somewhere to stay, you know, you're everywhere you need to be, you're not lacking for the most part. That's the most high remembering us in our lower state. Even if he does take everything from us, who said that he forgot you? He's just putting you through it. His mercy endureth forever. His mercies renew every single day. They don't run out as long as we continue to stay faithful and obedient. We must remember that the most high hasn't forgotten us. I'm going to start back 11, 12. Again, there is another that is slow and hath need of help, wanting ability and full of poverty. Yet the eye of the Lord looketh upon him for good and set him up from his low estate and lifted up his head from misery so that many that saw him slock it so that many that saw from him is peace over all the and then it cuts off but um it's like it so we might be in those times where we want the ability to be able to you know just get to work so we can pay these bills or you know be able to have help you know wanting what food stamps or something you know whatever having that need of help being full of poverty being in a low state not being able to pay for you know basic things quote unquote that you need in this captivity but all through all of that the most high still has looked upon us for good because we're keeping his laws because we're trying to do right in this thing he set us up from our lowest state and he will ultimately lift up our head from misery he gives us these tiny victories that seem tiny but really they're big he gives us these tiny victories to remember that, to remind us that the Most High is still with us. And the Most High still grants us his peace. But we got to seek it. We got to seek it and receive it. So, is it, you know, you might be in a season where you need help and want to work or whatever the case is. But you can't right now because it's of the Lord. It's of the Lord's will. He's trying to set us up. Set us up in a high state. I'm going to stay inside right. 20 and 11. And I'm going to get one more. And that will be it. There is there is an abasement because of glory. And there is that lifted up his head from a low estate. So this is a precept for the one I just pulled. So there is an abasement because of glory. We got to be like Paul. We got to be like Paul. Um, there's glory in being a base. There's glory in being in a low estate. Of course, the world is going to look at it as, you know, oh, that's a glory. Oh, yeah. They in a low estate. They can't do this. They can't do that. They can't pay for this or whatever. But the most high has, we know that the most high talks very highly of the poor, you know, being poor in spirit. You know, being, you know, very meek, humble, lowly. He has favor shown towards these people in the scriptures. So that's really a beautiful thing that the Most High has bring us to that estate. And it don't even be for forever. I've got to get the classic because we've got to be like Paul to, you know. The Most High didn't put spirit on Paul to be the way he was for no reason. Philippians 4 and 12, I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound everywhere and in all things. I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. He said everywhere and in all things. In all things. 
You gotta be a base when you know there ain't no groceries. You gotta be a base when they talking about you gotta pay this or they gonna take the car or you gotta pay this or that. Whatever it is. Everything and all things. We gotta be able to suffer need. We gotta be able to be in a season where you have to ask for help or people have to come and help you out. They don't feel like it's a burden either. You know, a lot of people... I get it, too. I get it. you like, oh, you don't want people to, you know, go out their way for you. Or whether you don't want to be a burden, whatever the case is. But alms do deliver from death. I'm going to pull that real quick. I told it. Told it 4 and 10. Because that alms do deliver from death. And suffereth not to come into darkness. For alms is a good gift unto all that give it in the sight of the Most High. That's a good gift inside the Most High. So don't don't defraud nobody from helping you. If they can help you and they want to help you, let them. Don't be that person, nah, nah, it's okay. You know, if somebody insists, okay. Yeah, you can help me. See? So... But with that, you know, I just want to say being a base is our glory because the Most High shows His power through us. And the Most High, and through others, and the Most High will be the one to lift our heads up in the end. And actually, I said I was done, but I want to kind of get into something else real quick. So I could, but not so I could. So, so, I want to kind of tap into Yahawashai too. Because even Yahawashai was tempted. And he had his disciples with him. Going back into Luke. Chapter 22 and verse 28. When he said, Ye are they which continue in my temptations with me. Roughly paraphrasing. So, the most I had disciples with him. So, we got to know that it's good to have people around us that will help us. And stick by us in these seasons of temptations. In these seasons of being low. Seasons of many afflictions. And I want to get Psalms chapter 3. I'm going to read the whole thing because it's short. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in the Most High Selah. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of mine head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill, Salah. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth to the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. So that's a beautiful psalm. We got to cry unto the Lord. All these people that are rising up against us, this wicked captivity, all these bills, all these tax collectors, debts, all that. The Most High is going to handle that. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of what these people, these wicked people threaten you with or put on you, whatever. The Most High will save us. Be he will smite all of our enemies in due season. His blessing is upon his people. We are his people. So, fun. Um, I'm going to get chapter 37. I'm going to get um, verse 16. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. So we, even though we might not have it all together, we might be lacking in some stuff, some material stuff or whatever it is. That's better than the riches of many wicked. That's better than being like these wicked women, Beyonce, whatever, all, all these other people, these celebrities. We're better off having a little but being righteous than having many many riches and wealth and all these dollars and we can do this this and that but we're wicked 
So we gotta keep that in mind too. Psalms forty. The song song is really mighty when you're going through it. Ten out of ten, for sure. Psalms forty and seventeen. But I am poor and needy, yet the Lord thinketh upon me. Thou art my help and my deliverer. Make no tearing, O oh my God. The Lord thinketh upon us. All praise to the Most High. Uh oh. Psalms 34 and 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. And the Lord is not a man that he shall lie. I'm pull that real quick. The, man, the Lord, he's not a man that he shall lie. So if he says that many are the afflictions of the righteous, we're going to go through many afflictions. But at the same time, he said that he's going to deliver us out of them all. So we got to believe that too. Numbers 23 and 19. The Most High is not a man that he shall lie, neither the son of man that he shall repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Plain. The Lord, he's not a man that he shall lie. Let me get Psalms. Psalm 34 is just mighty in general. I, I, I definitely recommend sisters get into that. Especially when you're going through it. I'm going to get verse 15. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. And let's jump to chapter 33 and read verse 18. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy. So, I'm going to read 19 too. To deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waiteth for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. So, we got to wait on the Lord with everything we got in us. The Lord brings us to these little states, so we, we have no choice but to wait on the Lord. Nobody else is going to do it. There's nobody else that's going to come through like the Lord. So we got to wait on him. Um, first, Peter, first Peter 3 and verse 12. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. So you got to stay in the paint, stay righteous, do what you're supposed to do when it's true. As long as you're keeping these laws, such commandments, having faith, the most high is open to our prayers. We just got to be patient. And that's Iraq 2 and 14. Psalms 14 and 14. Woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? Blame. What are you going to do when the Lord, Lord visits us? You know, lost patience, you know, went off and started freaking off or doing something wicked to get money or whatever the case is. Because you're going to wait on the Lord. And now, you know, it, it's too late. It's too late. Now you're going to take account of that. Let me get started right chapter 3. Verse 21. I'm going to read to 24. Seek not out things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength. But what is commanded thee, think thereupon with reverence. For it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. It's not needful for us, needful for us to see, dang, how is this going to get paid? How is this going to happen? How is this? Whatever. It's not, it's not needful. It's not needed. Seek not things that are too hard for thee. Some things are seriously just out of our hands. We can't do nothing about it. You know, we done did everything we could. You got to leave it in the Lord's hands. Be not curious in unnecessary matters, for more things are showed unto thee than man understand. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion. And an evil suspicion hath overthrown their judgment. So a lot of times we can be like, dang, you know, what did I do? Is this judgment? You know, or giving into our vain opinion about 
the situation that we're in, but whole time, it could just be the most high putting you through it to build your faith, to bring you closer to him because you went astray a little bit, to help someone else that's going to go through it later. You got to remember that, again, that gold is shrouded in the fire. I'll read it again. It's all right, chapter 2, verse 5. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside lest ye fall. Go not aside. Don't go and take manners into your own hands wickedly. Don't do it lest ye fall. Lest the most I take his mercy away from you and now you're not even in the truth. And now you just lost the kingdom. For what? For temporary stuff. This stuff, everything here is temporary. It's all an illusion. This is not going to be forever. Nobody's going to be paying bills forever. This is temporary. We got to keep that in mind. Keep up with the times. All hell is going to break loose soon. So just keep enduring, sisters. I love y'all so much. And just know that, you know, sisters are here for y'all. I'm here for y'all. Y'all going through it. If you need prayer, we can pray for each other. All that good stuff. But when we keep enduring to the very end, strive for the truth and the death. And call her Yahweh Shumi Awashai. Barakatah Havadi Yahweh Shumi Awashai. And Shalom.